Good morning or afternoon, folks. This is your old pal, Uncle Alan. Just came back from the doctor's office. The smoke is really bad outside. My asthma is kicking up. Tonight, all of the live stream is canceled. Gil, because his house had water damage. Um, Dave of Southern Ohio Prepping has a heat wave and he's cooking in his house. Go check Wide Family Farm. And donate some money so we get a, get a nice air conditioner for Dave. Okay? For that little room. Because he's cooking. Okay. Uh, Uncle Alan's kind of tired. And we're going to cover it. Oh, shoot. I thought I had it up here. One second. There we go. Okay. This is Texas Snowstorm fail i don't know which one i forgot but a lot of people use this I hate this thing. It says no flashlight is available. It does have a flashlight, you jackass. Hey, Siri, flashlight. Okay, I turned flashlight on. Okay, flashlight's on. I have to go around the other route because the apps is I do not exist. Great. Hey, Siri, shut off flashlight. Okay. I turned flashlight off. Okay, a lot of people are using this kind of um, this iPhone, the flashlight. I do it because I have bad eyesight and I'm going to have eye surgery soon. So I adapted Siri to do this in case something goes wrong. Okay, so basic thing is you should have a flashlight. If you go see Steve's channel, it's a simple flashlight. Okay, nothing. Then, fancy, old school. You pick it up, a flashlight, and it has an off and on button. So you can signal people. The D side, plain old, because I don't like old school. I hate the plastic ones. Read that kind of metal flashlight. Okay? Like back in the 50s. Another thing I have to tell people. Uh, is get some kind of battery lantern. Now, this is old school D size, same thing as a flashlight. Okay. And you got your lantern. So you don't do MacGyver weird stuff. You simply turn it on and you have light. Not rocket science, folks. And people miss buying these things. They say, wow, we have all this stuff. We have our cell phones. We don't need lanterns. Go to the bathroom when it's pitch black. What's really popular last year was these things all over YouTube and everybody's trying to huck them, hucksterism or sell them. You know, I picked this up at Harbor Freight for less than $3.95. And sometimes they give this away free. So always check on your digital coupons of Harbor Freight. And the nice thing is, it puts out a decent amount of light. And takes double A batteries. Okay, now I tested this. It will burn intensity and it'll get lower and lower as the time goes on. But this is full strength new batteries. Okay, easy to use. A lot easier to maintain. Problem is, this one <coughs> has a time limit. You cannot replace the bulb. You can replace the batteries, but it gets really expensive. This one, rechargeable D cell batteries. I can replace the bulb, not a problem. Getting the bulbs is another thing. Okay, so everybody in the household should have 
the headlamp. Okay, easiest pie or something to fit onto the shirt. They have the ones that Gil showed you. Go check Cap Patton's family tampon on the flashlight. Or you get a pocket size. These, these aren't strong, but they'll do in a pinch and you can put it in your pocket. Not rocket science, folks. And then you have your headlamps for the rest of us. Okay, put it on the forehead, put it on your helmet, put it on your hat. Uh, why we do the chest? Because you sometimes shine it in people's face. They get totally blind for a minute. And also it confuses the hell out of rescue workers. That's why they always have it strapped onto here or strapped to the chest. I like the chest models and I've seen them. I already gave one away to my brother and my sister or my nephew or niece. I forget. Again... Different size battery size. This is just a regular flashlight picked up and you know see cell batteries. Just a standard heavy duty flashlight. Then we have the right now everybody's pushing these tactical lights. Damn useless. I have to be careful with these. These things Take three AAA batteries, okay? They could have strobe light, everything. I like the strobe light. Uh, you can get more tactical, more expensive one, which uses the different type of battery, but you need a UPS, a UBS charger for that, or an outlet to charge that whole thing. It's a good tactical light, but these things, $15, $20, not a problem. And it does do all what it says. You have regular light, you have uh, reduced light, and then you have strobe. Now strobe is a very non-lethal weapon uh, because if you're drunk and it's totally pitch black, you shove that into somebody's face and they get disoriented. Meanwhile, you take your heavy, regular D-sized battery and you beat them over the head. Okay? And then I'm going to go a little bit different on lanterns, but everybody should have the standard uh, candles, 99 cents, four candles. You put it in a bowl, fill the bowl with water, make sure you melt a little bit of wax before you add water to secure the candle. And then what you do is you fill it with water. Okay, bowl, water, candle. Why? Water reflects more light into the room Secondly, if one of the kids run around and tips over the candle, it won't burn the house. What will happen is the candle will fall into the water, spilt water, doesn't burn anything. Rock, not rocket science, folks. And tie a little rubber band so you have some matches to light these, not for smokes. Altogether, three matches, 99 cents for the candle. You have a soup bowl or a bowl at the house. Not rocket science, folks. Now, I will do another thing on kerosene lamps. Best one I could recommend is Cap Patton's Family Compound. Even show you how to do a DUI, DU, DIY, DIY lantern that you could make. Not, not hard. A lot of people are running around doing weird things in the Texas snowstorm apocalypse that I couldn't believe. Phones. Drive up to the car to put the lights into the window so you can light up your house. That's crazy, folks. And this is mostly millennials, some Generation Xers, their parents, and Zoomers. Worst one was the Zoomers. You know, next to carbon monoxide because you put the truck against the house. You know, it gets ridiculous. Okay, now, you have your flashlight, you have the lights, you can light up the house. Hopefully, some of you have listened and got the kerosene heater. Nobody really listens to old Uncle Al. So anyway, I'm going to keep my trying my best. I got about 350 videos left, then I'm quitting. Because after this, I got to prepare myself. Remember, you only have one month. Before it, re it would get to the second phase of SHTF. 
Because Captain Crazy, I have a lot of people with Ghost Channel arguing me, well, what, this is this. One, they have corporate farms. Us farmers who are family still are having a rough time. You have Bill Gates on one side, you have corporate funds, farmers on the other side, and you got China right behind you. We're surrounded. So I get real paranoid and I get real angry because those three groups are working with the White House. You know, all that CO2 gas is bad for the world. So you have to reduce your farming and kill your cows and plow under the fields and dump your milk and pull your trees. Okay, what kind of C R A P is that coming from the White House? All right. Oh, we got to do the Paris Accords. Well, screw Paris. Right now, you go look on the shelves. All right. You only got four weeks. I'm not kidding about this. If I hear another comment or stupid ghost channel, I swear to God, I'm going to your house and beat you over the head with a mallet. No, I don't do violence, folks. I'm gone. just tired. So you have a nice day. I'll catch you later. Remember, you only have four weeks left. August is countdown. And a lot of you who aren't prepared, you're out of the loop. And you'll be considered a threat. So understand that, folks. You are now the zombie. And you have a nice day. Catch you later, folks.